The news continues with a look at developments in Afghanistan, which has fallen into the Taliban after the United States pulled out of the South Asian country. Now, this has raised concerns of a similar fate befalling Mali, where France has pledged a military drawdown next year. The French first intervened in Mali in 2013, beating back an advance by jihadists from the country's north. But the Islamists regrouped and spilled uh, into central Mali and neighboring Burkina Faso and Niger, inflaming ethnic tensions along the way. Earlier, we spoke to David Aurao, a professor of history and international relations at the University of Lagos, Nigeria, who shared his perspective on the fall of Afghanistan and its implication for Africa's fight against terrorism. Well, what he did right was to go into Afghanistan in 2001, having established that uh, Al Qaeda that organized the uh, terrorist attacks on the United States on September 11, 2001, um, you know, was organized and planned uh, in Afghanistan. So the intervention to degrade, disrupt, and uh, neutralize uh, terrorist uh, planning and execution in Afghanistan was what they did right. Um, what they did wrong was to divert attention and go to Iraq in 2003. Perhaps if they had not gone to Iraq, they would have been able to use all their resources, you know, concentrate their resources on Afghanistan and, uh, you know, achieve, you know, victory, so to speak. And in which case they would have been able to leave behind a stable democratic government, well, maybe not too stable, but at least a democratic government that would not fall like, like a pack of cats, like what has, what happened in the past uh, in the past week, and especially on the 15th of uh, August, that's last Sunday. Um, and then again, the other thing they did wrong was the manner in which they have left. I don't think uh, Trump's blaming, uh, sorry, uh, Biden's blaming Trump really makes sense. Um, I say this because uh, Biden is now in charge. In the, in the speech he gave uh, the other day, he admitted that much. He was not bound to, you know, uh, keep to the plan that Trump had put in place. And what every strategic analyst, you know, who is serious-minded, who is perceptive, has, has stated is that the, 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 the exit of the U.S. should have been when U.S. was in a position of strength. They could have increased their firepower, ensure that they compel the Taliban to, you know, accept the terms of what they were negotiating, such that by the time the U.S. will pull out, they won't pull out at the position of weakness. 